All right, how we doing though? I uh, hope everybody's having uh, enjoying their day today. It's Friday, February. Uh, I'm sorry, April 16th. I got about uh, about a quarter to 11 in the morning. All right. Um, whatever you guys do this weekend, y'all be safe or whatever. And uh, praises to the Most High. But I want to talk about here uh, that's something that I'm hearing more and more of, and it's starting to make me re really sick. Okay. This thing with this BLM thing, all right? Uh, I think I want to call this uh, the $3.2 million uh, real estate uh, scam with uh, BLM, okay? Now, this is supposed to be an organization that is supposed to be trying to help the people, all right? Rather, the group had raised $90 million or whatever, all right, and what makes me upset is the families such as Michael Brown Sr., uh, Tamir Rice's mother, and it was others. I think it was Castile up in uh, Minneapolis um, and the young man down in Jacksonville uh, uh, that got killed at the, uh, I'm trying to think, at the, uh, like the 7-Eleven. It was like a convenience store. Nothing, all right? And the founder of this uh, group, well, this is a commercialized group. I'll get to that in a minute, what happened. Uh, Patrice Colors has bought some like three houses in LA, all right? And then a house out there in Atlanta with, a, with some landing strip. And then, for further resource, then some property out in Puerto Rico, which, you know, I'm not hating or trying to say you can't do what you want to do with your money. All I'm saying is that that's very inconsistent with number one, that somebody makes allegedly $120,000 a year. And then number two, um, that's supposed to, somebody's supposed to be an activist. Now, if you're one of those people that, you know, you're already uh, successful, you know, you're a Fortune 500, you're worth maybe a couple of million or whatever, all right, I can see. But I'm telling you, all right, that what she's, you know, uh, represents or whatever, okay? It's supposed to be in, in construction. And somebody correct me if I'm wrong, all right? But it just doesn't add up right. Now, let me tell you how this group started, okay, from my research. This group had basically started from people fighting, okay, for, you know, for black men's lives around 2014 after M Michael Brown, okay? Uh, the young young man out of uh, Florissant, Missouri, uh, was killed, uh by the hands of police, okay? People, again, people protesting, all right? Trying to help make a difference. And I think at one point, probably a couple years after that, uh, it got bought out, all right? By basically a, a Caucasian uh, liberal Jew uh, with uh, paid scripters, okay? People like uh, Patrice Cullors or Tamika Mallory, all right? And if you just happen to be listening to this video, all right, or if y'all got uh, constituents or whatever for these people or whatever, I don't give a damn, all right? I'm just going to call it the way it is. And if you're so quick to defend it, that means you're wrong too, all right? Uh, but anyway, back to what I'm saying. So when uh, George Floyd was killed, all right, then a lot of this uh, protest was ramped up. Uh, and there was like $90 million, but there was supposed to have been like $10 billion, I think, from this organization and subs uh, subsidiary organizations around that. And, yeah, but this is only, the, what, $3.2 million? So where did the rest of the money go? The other, what, nah, $9.7 uh, billion? Uh, uh, plus the $90 million. Where, did it, where is that money gone? Okay. So yeah, I took a look at the houses. Them houses are laid out, all right? They don't look like you have to really do that much. They got stuff like marble floors and, and wood, you know, wood grain stuff. Uh, I don't know, cabinets and all kinds of, you know, baller type uh, stuff, all right? So she probably got a good million, million and a half in cash, probably in, in the banks or, or stocks or whatever. And that's just my opinion, my personal opinion, all right? So basically at the hands of people like, you know, these fallen individuals, it's like they done sit up here and they, and they made a hustle off of it, okay? And 
let's say Tamir uh, Rice, okay, uh, the brother that got Cle uh, killed in Cleveland, young guy. His mother, all she wanted to do was build a community center in Cleveland. She didn't get nothing. All right, same with Michael Brown Sr. So you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm getting at? You got two different sides of this. You have an organic side, and then you got a commercialized side or whatever that made all this money. And I just say like this, uh, that organic group, they're just gonna have to figure out a way, you know, to, you know, to raise uh, money or whatever through speeches or through um, a cash app or, you know, PayPal or whatever. They're gonna have to find a way, all right? Cause I don't really think they're gonna get anything unless there are probably, uh, probably some high power lawyers involved uh, in this or, you know, and they're gonna want a lot, a lot of money, okay? In fact, it's to a point now where uh, the group with uh, P uh, Patrice Colors, there's a man, I forgot his name, but he's uh, a black uh, live uh, activist uh, in the branch of New York trying to investigate that ordeal that I'm telling you about, okay? Now, let me pause for a second. I can remember, let, okay, let me say this. Feminism, uh, protests over civil rights, you know, a lot of these liberal uh, movements, they're good and they're not. I can remember taking a class, uh, I believe at the community college uh, a few years back about protesting and all that, okay? It does help raise awareness. It do, did things like help, uh, you know, break uh, color barriers and, you know, get uh, people, uh, minority uh, black people uh, and stuff like that in the five, Fortune 500 co uh, companies you know, social injustice, okay, like uh, Black Lives uh, Matter has, has done, okay? Uh, it's able to get people to wake up. Yes, it has, but it's destroyed a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, factions. It destroyed the community and it destroyed the family, okay? The, the family structure, okay? Uh, now, basically on the studies in my, in my class and all that, all right, this happened during the civil rights movement during the first uh, feminism wave uh, movement, okay, and a lot of those uh, groups, like in the 70s, like the LGBT and all that, all right, that, and I'm gonna enlarge this a little bit. They end up protesting, they get the rights or whatever, and then they quit protest, uh, protesting, all right? They don't teach things like affirmative action, all right? It's like they get whatever vo uh, political votes, uh, uh, edification that they need, money and it's like they gone you don't hear from them ever again all right tv deals and commercials this is going on right now okay so it's like well what about the youth how can we do this affirmative action thing you know so we won't keep reinventing this world now we're on the third wave okay of things like feminism the lgbt uh this, uh, you know, uh, civil rights. That's basically what this is, another civil rights movement with the uh, the Black Lives Matter, okay? And let me let me uh, fill you in on this, okay? The person, I'm not going to call his name or whatever that's uh, doing this stuff, that he's funding the uh, people that's coming to the border. And that actually, he's uh, allegedly, quote, unquote, Funding stuff like the Proud Boys, you know, and that uh, situation that happened in Charlottesville a few years ago. All right, that it's like the same uh, the same person. All right, so it's like Jesuits or whatever that's involved in this and who's ever uh, sponsoring this stuff. Okay, they go out out here starting stuff. All right, getting people all riled up. Okay, now protesting is good. You do have a right to protest, but then again, there's another side of this where, okay. Somebody comes out there talking smack. There's already bricks set up and all that. All right, riots happen. All these people get arrested. And the courts are making money out, out of this, out of this stuff. These quote unquote uh, paid scripters, they they turn around and run off or whatever and go check in a hotel. And you'll see them on a, uh, ABC News or on the radio station and all that. All right. Satellite radio. Okay. The Breakfast Club or uh, like Shade 45 or somewhere. Okay. Like on Sirius Radio. Okay, so 
this goes to show that I believe that a lot of these protests are, are scripted, all right? And with the Black Lives Matter thing, all right, these, these things are not even funded by black people, okay? They, they're uh, white Caucasians that are protesting, many of them, 80%. Are funding and as, as well as participate in, uh, in that stuff. I think I just think for the black people it doesn't really, it doesn't really mean anything, okay? Because we well we have our own issues we gotta uh, we have to worry about. It is good, but I just think that once we get the notoriety we need, we have to take care of each other. In the end of the day, we can't rely on anybody else to take care of us but us, okay? Nobody can take care of you better than you. All right. So what I think is going to happen is the same thing that I'm telling you about or whatever, okay? I, th I believe that there's going to be more people investigating this thing because what happens is everybody wants to dip in the pot. And politically, people got left out, okay? This thing uh, with the other side or whatever, because the right is going to overcome the, uh, the wrong, whatever happened or whatever, okay? Um, just give us, give us some time. This group is going to end up, okay, that's if if the ones that are doing this stuff for the wrong reasons, it's going to end up in, imploding, all right? You already got one guy that's going to investigate uh, investigating this uh, situation, the man in New York. There's going to be more people coming forward. I believe there's going to be some judicial matters or whatever. Somebody going to end up missing. That's what I just think that's going to happen or whatever, okay? They're going to be... Uh, some lawsuits and stuff like this. And this thing is going to correct itself the way that it needs to be. Uh, I just believe for the other uh, group, hey, you're just going to have to just find another way to get that money or whatever, okay? As far as in uh, Miss Colors and whoever else, they could have made that money in other ways, all right? They could have made that money through Cash App. They could have made that money through uh, making speeches or whatever, all right? Because... Uh, they were going to probably end up getting uh, the notoriety or get uh, whatever uh, um, uh, due diligence anyway. doesn't really matter, okay? But I just think to take, you know, if you're in a, in a position with public service, you know, to be able to take, that, uh, to take that money or whatever when you need to be helping out the people that you're wrong. I mean, there could have been a way that this could have been worked out where they could have got what they wanted. I mean, because it's more than enough money, all right? You know, you help the people out, then, you know, you can do, you know, do whatever that you like or whatever. And it should be, which I think there should be in a concert, more conservative fashion. But then again, I can't tell people what to do with their money. All right. And then turn around and claim, yeah, OK, yeah, you, uh, you know, we black, black power and this and that or whatever. But then turn around and stay with, you know, with the white people or whatever. OK. I mean, I'm just bugged out by this. I mean, not saying that you can't have nothing nice or whatever, but, you know, I just think that me, you know, I do okay, but if I'm in, I'm going to help, I'll try to help others too, veterans or other black, you know, young black men or, you know, other, just men in general, okay, with any type of advice or, you know, if I do donations or whatever, whatever I can afford to give, I don't know, maybe I'm just saying what I do if I'm in this situation. But that's just my take on that. I'm not going to hold any more y'all time or whatever, okay? Now, I do believe it's a scam, and, and I just think that, again, those those uh, individuals need to have their, their due diligence. And you will get it, okay? Unfortunately, these things don't work out that way, but you will get your piece of the pie. Like I say, the, the, over, the right will overcome the wrong, okay? So, uh, if you like, feel free to subscribe. Um, Leave your comments, likes, and shares, all right? Tell me your thoughts. All right, I'm out, y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for the next video. Check out some of my other videos.